Oh, another day, another dollar, folks. Right here again in the frozen Arctic tundra of Nebraska. I'm with my buddy Milliken. We're doing big things out here. As you can tell by my enthusiasm, I'm super excited to go fishing this morning. Still sick, still haven't shook the cold, the flu, whatever, whatever I've got, but I know you guys need these ice fishing videos to keep you sane through the winter, so we're out here grinding. I think the last time I ice was just put this lake, yeah, the last time I ice was just like, I was probably like 12 or something. We're starting over here. It's been a minute. This is, uh, this is a lake we fish all the time, open water, but I haven't fished. You haven't fished this ice fishing yet, have you? Not this year? So we're actually gonna do a catch and cook. So we're gonna see how that goes. I'm pretty hungry, so we brought some stuff to, to fry up the five pound bass that I catch. You guys stay tuned, it's gonna get interesting. Since I'm an ice fishing expert, I'll show you guys my, my strategy here. So we got hole, 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 and that's it. So basically a triangle formation. So you see there's a point right here. I basically put them down the point to a point and then back down. So basically I made holes in the formation of a point. That's usually key to uh, successful bass fishing is making a point on the point and uh, that's, that's what we've got going on today. So we're gonna set up some tip ups, start jigging. Like I said, trying to catch a bass to do a catch and cook with. Here we go guys, super super big shocker. We got a minnow on a tip up, homemade tip up. The, the tip up that I've been telling you guys I'm gonna make a video on for like a month that I still haven't and probably never will. Here we go. Lower it down, down to the bottom. Real complex technique here. Minnow on the bottom with the tip up. Going for bass. Put your little loopy thing right there so when they pull on it, you go like that, the flag goes up, you catch the fish. Bingo, easy peasy. There we go. We're doing big things. Got a little teardrop, a little waxy. Classic. I'm seeing some gills on the graph. We're gonna see if we can drop down on them. Sitting in about eight foot of water. Thread them on there, just about looking like that. And uh, we're gonna see if we can catch a big old slab. Oh, that's a fish, it's gotta be a fish. I gotta see what jig you're using. That's the same thing I'm doing. Literally the same color jig. Fucking green and yeah. Oh, that's fish. That's a fish. Come on, eat it. Yep, yep. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yep. Yep. Bass. Bass. Son. Fillet him up. What'd you say? The limit was 15 inches. Yeah, he looks good. Nah, we'll stretch him. Be all right. Big old guy, that's the smallest passive thing I've caught all year, honestly. Flare Pretty fish close. Fish. Flare fish, son. All right, see you, buddy. Head first, always. You guys were rushing me last time. All right, well, maybe I just started feeding friends. I was just about to leave. I'm trying to catch, I'm trying to catch some fish on this old jig here. They did just come in hot. Yeah, that one just. Just hot. Nope. Oh, oh God, there's one. He smoked it. He smoked it. Oh, he's caught. He's caught. Get up here. Oh, got a green sunfish. Never eaten a green sunfish. I don't think today's going to be the day either. Too small. See you, buddy. Green sunfish. I don't think I've ever caught a green sunfish through the ice before. Well, Milken and I, we changed holes. We moved around. We're still really struggling to find the juice. He, like I said, he caught a big one earlier. Nothing, nothing since. I just had that little green guy come through but uh nothing worth frying up today for the old catch and cook video this is brutal folks we walk i don't you can't see but the truck is way down there i mean we're talking a half to three quarters of a mile down there and uh we've i mean i've drilled at least 30 holes today 
moving around, graphing them, marking them. He caught the one, I'll show you the one big gill. I haven't showed you guys. We gotta name him. Uh, his name is Lewis. Yeah, where's Lewis at? There's Lewis. Look at, look at baby Lou there. We're gonna take Lou with us. And that's uh, all we caught, it's just the one. But I wanna make a catch and cook video, okay? Cause a lot of you guys have been requesting it and I need to make it happen. So we are actually leaving this lake. We drove 50 minutes here this morning. We're gonna head back to where I filmed pretty much my last video, not the same pond, but the big lake that's near it. And we're gonna go there and, uh, and see if we can make something happen. I did not think it was gonna be this hard to catch these bluegills. They are, they're making us, we're on the struggle bus. Let's put it that way, we're on the struggle bus. So anyways, I'm gonna try to try to hype this video up a little bit more. We're gonna, we're gonna head to New Lake, start fresh, catch some gills, catch some crappie, and you caught a five pound bass. A five pounder last so we might catch a giant bass and catch and cook that one. I'm, I'm totally kidding, but let's go. Eventually. Great audio, this is key. We're at lake two, baby. I am absolutely so hungry right now. We need to catch some fish so we can cook them up. I'm starving. I haven't eaten since since breakfast and it's about 1, 1 p.m. right now. We're gonna make it happen. Milk and I, we're gonna make it happen. Oh, we're on the move, baby. We gotta tip up. We gotta tip up. Oh, it's spinning too. It's spinning too. Come on, baby. Oh, he, he's rough. Oh, dude, he spooled it. He spooled it. He spooled it. I got him. I got him. He spooled the entire thing. I got him. I got him. <laughs> wiped out. <laughs> Did you? Oh, God. What is it? He spooled the entire thing. I've never had a fish do that in my life. It might be big. It might be big. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Get up here, buddy. How did you spool it, little guy? What? He was over where we were. What? That is way too much running for me. Oh, my God. He spooled. Look at this. Spooled. Gone. There's no line left. He about yanked the whole thing in the water. Whew. All right. See, buddy. Oh, there we go. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, he missed it. Come on now. Come on now. Right back down on him. Yep. Got him. Got him. Got him. Come on. Yep. Yep. Oh, no. Get back. Uh, we'll take him. He's not a giant. He's not a giant, but we're gonna take him. Beauty. As you can see, there's a few more gills here. Milliken's actually been helping me out. He's catching some gills for lunch as well. Finally, baby. Oh, I don't think I've ever tried so hard to catch bluegill in my life. Here's the moment you guys have been waiting for. Here's the catch and cook portion. I caught one gill. Ben caught. Look, looks like. Is that what we? Where's your? Oh, you got your buddy. So we got two, four, five. Five total, five or six total. I caught one, so I know I put the team on my back. And uh, we're gonna flay them. I'm gonna show you guys how I flay them. Probably a really poor job, but I'm gonna show you anyway. And then I'll show you how I prepare them and actually cook them, and then how I eat the fish, because that's also very important. Oh. <laughs> there we go. That's, you guys hear that? That's, that's the sound of demonetization right there. We are gonna show you how to, I'm gonna show you how to probably not fillet bluegills, because I don't think I've ever actually filleted a bluegill before. I mean, I, I did one practice, I'm not even gonna lie, I did one practice, you guys can see my hands, I did one practice and I absolutely massacred it. And it's awful. So, I'll show you how I do it, how you're supposed to do it. Don't do as I say, say as I do. I don't know what the hell that saying is, but you just watch. I run my knife under this little guy here. You put your knife right behind that little black plate, and then you just start hacking away. Straight down, you cut about halfway halfway down its its whole body thing. Then you want to rotate your knife out that way. Ooh, look at that, ducksWaterfowl.com. There you go. And we're going to go down and then rotate it out. And you want to cut like this. And as you can see, it's not cutting because I'm definitely on a uh, on a bone here. It doesn't cut very very easily. Let's see if I can get off the off the rib cage here. Go do a little fillet in here. Yeah. Right through her. There we go. There now I got through her. It just took a second to to get it. and you want to angle your knife down and you just keep on slicing away all yeah, the way <laughs> all the way down and then you want to go and you do a little flip rooney like that or something and then uh and i'll just i'll just cut just like that all right and then uh you're gonna want to you're gonna keep your uh, your knife straight as straight as an arrow and uh 
and just keep on slicing away like this. Yep, uh, it's not cutting because it's not on on uh, meat, it's on bone. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep on. It's not going, it's still not, nope. Let's see, there we go. You see, now then you do this, and then all those bones taste great. So you wanna leave them in, you just dunk it in some juice, fry it up, you guys are good to go. Mm. Do a little slicing and dicing, like that. That sounds about right. Go a little bit further down here, and angle your knife out. And just start doing us nice little, there we go, yeah. oh beauty. Just kind of finesse your way down that little back bony area. You get about almost down to the tail, you do a little, watch that. Did you do that in 120, 120 flip? And then, uh, go like this and you just angle your knife down towards that skin nice just like butter just doing it doing big things out here nice and slow easy does it easy does it <laughs> almost dropped the whole rig flip her over give her one last little slice of rooney and you guys see you got a little bit of rib action it's a little rib action right there all you gotta do it's easy peasy lemon squeezy you just gotta stick your knife right in there start cutting and then angle your knife up towards those ribs. Nice and slow, get those ribs out just ever so slightly. And now you're feasting on a giant meal right there. That's that's a filet right there, ladies and gentlemen, that's a filet. Now we got the filets, I'm gonna show you how to season it and then how to fry it. Mm. Oh yeah, good milk. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Are you guys ready for this? We got the fish, we got the fish filets in here. Nice, soaking in some good old milk. Then we got some old fashioned shore lunch, you guys can see. Not not sponsored endorsement, but if anyone from Shore Lunch is watching, hit me up. You saw my filleting seals, you know I'm a pro. Stick it in this bag. Stick it in this. You soak it in milk, alright? And you'll take your little your little milk soaked fish fillet, alright? Then open it in there, toss it in there, give it a quick little one of these. Looking like a snack. And then uh, you gotta find the fish fillet, because it's so big it's hard to find. Then this guy, and then you heat up your oil, you toss it in there, and I'll show that part in a second. We just got the stove going, but that's essentially how I season it. Super complex, I know. I should probably go on in the Food Network. Ooh, sizzle. Look at that, just beauty. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Throw it in there, just nice and easy. You lay them down there, like you're laying your child down for bed, all right? Nice and easy. Ooh, that's a good one. Milk can definitely clean that one. As you guys can see, you got all the fish fillets in there. You gotta let, just get a little bit golden brown, you know, three, four minutes, flip them around three, four minutes, take them off, pop them in your mouth. You gotta wait a few minutes because it'll be too hot, but we're gonna let these guys cook. How was that? A little wet. Did you get the gimbal wet? wet. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. that's good. Otherwise, good. it would have been yeah. ruined. You're good. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, I'm not Peric, but wrecking it a little bit. Well, folks, food is done. We are actually, we actually threw on some, uh, some venison brats, which look at these guys. Straight madness in your mouth. But this guy right here, this is a piece of the gill. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Good. It is. It's a lot better than I expected, actually. Not bad. So, that is, that's what we got going here. Mmm. So hungry. Needed this food so bad. You know, it's not a lot of meat, but it's not bad. And for me, I never keep the fish that I catch. Normally, just because I'm too lazy to clean it. As you saw, I was really good at it. And, um, and what? And I never catch any. I never catch any fish. So, yeah, that's it, folks. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed this catch and cook. It wasn't anything magnificent or crazy, but you know, Milken, we wanted to go fishing together. And I was like, dude, I haven't done a catch and cook. And I asked you guys in my last video, do you want to see a catch and cook? And a lot of you guys said yes. So I said, all right, let's make a catch and cook. Let's get it done. And that's what I did today. So if you guys enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. Maybe I'll go after a different species. I was actually supposed to be in Minnesota this morning. I was actually supposed to leave uh, for Minnesota. I actually, I canceled because I was I was so sick two days ago. I'm feeling a little bit better today. If you guys can't tell, I sound a lot better. I, I feel a lot better. Um, probably could have gone on the trip, but I didn't want to risk because I thought I had the flu. 
and I'm not sure if I do. Uh, I don't think I do because it seems like it's getting better. But I didn't want to be up in Minnesota with the flu. Just wouldn't have, just wouldn't have been good. So, anyways, if you want to see me go up north, you know, go catch some walleye, some perch, and do a catch cook that way. Let me know in the comment section down below. Your boy Milliken, he will be linked down below as well. He does this whole YouTube fishing game for God knows what reason, but he does it. So you can go subscribe to him if you enjoy what I do, because he does the same thing. You know, catch catch fish, cook them up. He's a lot better at, at uh, catching them and cleaning them than, than me, that's for sure. So anyways, I'm going to shut up. Really do appreciate you guys tuning in. Kind of a struggle. Caught some tiny bass today. Some tiny bluegill. Caught one decent bluegill. It was rough, but, you know, it's almost actually getting dark right now. That's how long we've been out here. We left my I left my house at like 7.30 this morning, and it is now... 335 so it's been a minute we've been out here for a while i'm gonna end the video here really do appreciate <coughs> really do appreciate you guys watching